telling me about all the stuff they do with it? Oh, it was a, somewhat of a pig to fly so you get up to altitude, but it's pressurized, it's warm. So, man, have you got a, we've got a treat for you today. Mr. Matt Hodges is here all the way from Georgia with this big B-29. Make it feel welcome, folks, Matt Hodges. Yep, so if you're a crew chief on a B-29, you'll recognize the prototypical takeoff. That's what they like to do, the little burn up a little fuel. Get the crew, make sure everybody is lined up and ready. Look, I, I, every time Mac flies, I think about, okay, so we're in South Carolina, and I'm sure we've got some neighbors around here somewhere looking up, going, calling the police, going, no, sir, it's a B-29 doing a rolling circle. I promise you. We're going to need authorities out here. All right, Max got a way up in the air, and underneath it, we've got a uh, scale version of the X-1, the first plane that went supersonic with General Chuck Yeager. So Chuck Yeager, broken ribs and everything. Yeah, I think I'll hop in that pointy nose rascal without a throttle and push all the go buttons. That was a duck walking man there. All right, we got the X-1 plummeting towards the earth. Everybody keep an eye on it. This was Chuck Yeager again with broken ribs, a scale reenactment of that. Uh, negative tower, first I'm going to do a couple of rolls, and I'm going to come in, then I'm going to push the go button there. All right, this is cool. Where Keep is it? this, kid. Nothing to see here, just the benign glider. It. Looking down gently. High off a landing. We're going to drag the nose. <laughs> the first time I saw that, you had to pull me off the deck. I thought the world was coming to an end. All right, now we're going to need to see a slow roll. That's what we like, slow rolls. On final. Can't talk him into that one. All right, at this point, Mac is just gaining a little bit of altitude. This is the third version of the B-29 that, that Mac has had. And the X-1 doinks it in for a spot landing. A couple of spot landings. <laughs> Two or three, give it up for it. That was slick. Okay, look high overhead, Max got smoke on one engine. I think this rascal at this point is powered by four DA-100s. A flat spin with a four engine motor, that's one of the top things they tell you never to do in flight training. So let's just start with that, shall we? Flat spin, pushing the nose down, coming up on the throttle as this coach. Starting this slow roll. Judges, anybody on that? Ten? Seriously? Okay, we'll go with that. Mac owns the hobby shop over in, uh, in Georgia. That's where they have the uh, Seth flying over there as well. All right, Mac's got her lined up, coming down, get all four motors up on step. Again, those are four DA 100s. There's a beautiful four point roll. Done. Beautiful job. Now, folks, I will tell you how much this airplane weighs, but every time Mac tells me he lies and changes it, one year it weighs 352 pounds, and this year it weighs 17 pounds, according to Mac Hodges. Typical competition pilot. You never really know. All right, Mac's coming from left to right. No telling what he's going to do this time. Glorious watching that rascal come honking down the runway. Beautiful hammerhead. Again, this is the third version of this airplane back has had. Dan Stevens has built a couple of them. Um, one year, unfortunately, we lost one. And uh, Mac handled it well. It's Bob, the only thing I regret about that is the one show center where everybody can see it. Tragic. But never say Nice big loop, plenty of rudder, keep it in line, right?
side. This is the one that really scares me. An outside loop from the top down. Every time I do that, every time he does that, run, I'm just thinking, okay, somebody built that spar. How awake were they? How much glue did they use? Pat keeps saying, I don't worry about it. This airplane will take a joke. Apparently does. All right, we got lined up. We're inverted now. The top side's looking at the grass. Remember, Mac, down is up and up is expensive. <laughs> Touch the rudder, plenty of room. <laughs> now, folks, if you've never seen back before, uh, fly before, before you put the electric field down there, back would drag the rudder on that big rascal. He's just fearless. All right, keep your eyes on this. This is what everybody in the world wants to do a torque roll with four engine B29. What else would you do? Come on, back, fight it, bro. Fight it. Let's hear it, kids. Oh, yes. Back the other way. Oh, that was beautiful. Folks, as you, you can tell when he's up in a uh, vertical position, getting ready to torque roll, you can hear the motors coming up and down. He's not just using the rudder. There's no prop blast over the rudder. He's using the motors, one side up, higher, down, lower, to do the yaw uh, on the plane. Oh, I love this one. I was egging him on about doing a rolling circle, and Matt said, ah, nah, I can handle this. This ain't nothing but a straight line with some corkscrew, Settler. <laughs> you just can't dare Mac Hodges not to do anything. He'll do it. Judges, that was a steady roll rate. Very little deviation now to do tens. <laughs> tens again. You guys are so generous. This is awesome. Back, you got tens on your on your uh, rolling circle there, bro. Sleepy, how we looking, bud? Looking good, Bob. Flying Giants is doing what? We're giving away stuff. And uh, what's the one thing that everybody standing here loves just as much as God, country, and family? Sponsored T-shirts. Even more than that. Sponsored collared shirts. How about triple T? Even better. All right, so we're giving away prizes. I'm going to walk around and give out tickets. And the only thing that we ask for this ticket is that you always remember to respect Triple Tree and make this your backyard just like Mr. Pat made it our backyard. So that's all we ask is to treat this like your own house. Or actually, the, the nice neighborhood. Perfect. No trash, no anything. Take everything with you and make this place as beautiful as it was when you got here. So we're going to hand out prizes. We shouldn't have to, but we're going to do it anyways. When you take that prize home, I want you to tell all your friends that when you come to Triple Tree, you treat it with respect because there's only one in the whole world and you guys are enjoying it here today. Right on. Now watch this, folks. Back to just came out of a loop, he's got the gear down, a short final after a loop, and the big beautiful B-29 touches down. Give it up for the Mr. Mac Hodges. That is a full grown man there. All right, Billy, you up? Jerry. Jerry. All right, folks, we've had several questions. How big do they get? Uh, they just keep getting bigger and bigger. One more big round of applause for our buddy Mr. Mac Hodges, kid. Oh, we've been watching the wind sock? Chip Hyde had fly. I knew it was going to happen. I was <laughs> it's like throwing a fly in front of a trout. He had to bite on that one. Bill, don't let me talk to you.